Hello there. Now that the machine is all put back together, I'm now in a position to do some tests. The new power supply has a, a lowest voltage setting, setting of about 65 volts and the highest setting of around about 80, 88 volts. Now I've tried it on 72 volts and it runs quite well but I'm a little bit um, concerned about the little NEMA 23 motors overheating at that voltage. So I'm going to perform some cycle tests to see how hot it gets and how fast it gets to that heat in about a half hour test. <clears throat> also I'll probably do a test at the lowest voltage that the power supply can can go to which is around about 65 volts it's standing here at 65 volts now the motors are rated up to 60 volts so I just want to see if they get really too hot running them at either of these two voltages so let's get started on that I purchased from good old eBay a digital thermometer with sensor for the princely sum of 4.85 great British pounds and here I am affixing it to one of the little NEMA 23 motors with some candle grease. Right, that's it glued on with candle wax so we'll let this settle down now to ambient temperature and then we'll start performing some cycles on the machine it's been standing for a few minutes with the holding torque applied that's why the temperature has gone up to 21.8 so we'll call that the initial temperature 21.8 at time equals zero we'll start the clock
Well, the temperature of the motor has got over to over 50 degrees centigrade. So I've stopped it at that point, which is after 35 minutes. And this is um, the voltage we've been running at. I'm going to do another test at the lowest voltage of the power supply in here. So I'll, I'll tweak the power supply down to its lowest voltage and do another test. So I'll wait until the temperature of the motor settles again, which will probably take a few hours. And we'll run another test. Well, that's 35 minutes, so I think that's enough. And our voltage is still around 65. And here are the final readings which I have normalised to zero for the two voltages used, 72 and 65. The blue columns being the normalised ones and I've used those to plot a curve 
for each of the voltages. As you can see from the graph, there is not a great deal of difference between the two sets of results. Uh, 72 volts and 65 volts seem to reach roughly the same point after 35 minutes. Uh, getting on towards 30 degrees centigrade, which plus the initial 20 degrees centigrade, it's getting them up to 50 degrees, which is getting a little bit uh, warm actually. It's too hot to keep your finger on for a while. So I think I'll stick with the 65 volts. Also, if the temperatures are getting the same, that means the heat energy that they consume is roughly the same, which means that the output power is roughly the same at those two voltages. So there's no point in going any higher than 65 volts. So 65 volts it is for me. If this proves to be a problem, if it looks like the temperature is getting too high because I'm going to stick with the digital gauge I'll plumb it in permanently I think uh, I'll have to go for some bigger motors the NEMA 34 is probably his favourite so anyway I hope that was interesting and informative for you please subscribe and we'll see you again next time bye What? <laughs>